Hello, this is the first video of uh, solution to convex optimization book and I'm going to start from the first exercise on chapter 2. Let's see what the problem is. Uh, we have a set C here. Let me use blue ink. This set C is convex, so from this set we are going to uh, choose K points and we have K coefficients, uh, each one is non-negative and the sum of all these coefficients is 1. So the claim is the convex combination of these points is back in C. Let's see what uh, are the assumptions. The assumption in this uh, problem is convexity of C. It doesn't say the set C is closed or bounded. By closed, I mean a set uh, that has uh, closed boundary that means every sequence you take from the set is back in, in that set um, for example this ca case is not a closed set because uh, sequence 1 over n belongs to this set however it does not convert to a point that belongs to set c and th the other one from negative infinity to 1 is a closed set but it is not bounded and k the k is may or may not bounded in this case okay let's see what happens when we have this problem uh, pictorially suppose c is a set in r2 and suppose c is just a single tone one two once we have this single tone we can rewrite x1 as one times x1 theta one times x1 in c and this is um, the proof showing single tone is in c and next case is the line segment between x1 and x2 the reason i'm showing this because I am going to show you with line segments we can cover every convex body so uh, any two points you take on this line you can find the convex combination and you can uh, reach to that point for example suppose we have this uh, point right here we can have half of x1 plus half of x2 to get that point now consider unit circle so by picking two points you can cover all these points as a convex combination if you pick another point you can cover this uh, x all points between x2 and x3 however you have another opportunity to pick any points on x2 x3 and x1 x2 for example here and then cover all the points between these two if you do with this point and for example this point you can cover all these and then you can see you can cover all these uh, points in the triangle that's why you can cover the convex set with convex combination so the set of all convex combination is a subset of the set this is the takeaway of this problem now let's see how can we prove this uh, uh, proving this uh, uses induction for the induction we need base case and uh, for base case we need two points x1 and x2 uh, next step in the induction would be induction hypothesis or the bridge for k minus 1 points once we have k minus 1 points true we can go and uh, prove it for uh, the case we have k points 
first I need to show the base case. The base case uh, can be shown by picking two points in C and show that these the convex combination of these two points is in C. But we know this is true because the set C is convex in whatever pair you pick, uh, the convex combination is back in C. So we have no problem proving case of base case. For the second case, we are uh, for the second step or the bridge, we assume uh, this is true for k minus points. That means we have non-negative coefficients and sum of uh, k minus 1 coefficients is 1 and the convex combination of all these k minus 1 points is back in C. So what is the claim? The claim is this is true for k points and for k points mean, uh, means we want to show this part right here uh, that is true for k points. Now observe there are two trivial cases. The first case is the case where k, uh, theta k equals 0. When theta k equals 0, we do not have k, mi k points. We have k minus 1 points. And once we have k minus 1 points, we're back to the bridge case or induction hypothesis and the proof is done. The other trivial case is the case where theta k uh, equals 1. When theta k equals 1, the other coefficients are 0. And we, uh, we know theta k times xk is just xk. And we just showed xk is a point in C and then we're done. So we assume that in these non-trivial cases are not uh, the case of uh, uh, interest we're looking for. So uh, this is just an example showing uh, we have when we have a bridge for case k equals six, we have uh, four or five of them, and then we have to show it for six. But if theta 6 is 0, then we have 5 points. And by letting theta 1 equals to uh, lambda 1 equals to theta 1, uh, then we are going to have a case, the bridge case, and we're done. And once theta 6 is 1, we can write this as uh, x6, which is an element of C, and the proof is done. So suppose we are not dealing with these two uh, trivial cases, and theta k not theta k plus 1 is not 0 or 1. When theta k is not 1, we can rewrite the first line as uh, this, uh, the second line by just multiplying one minus k, one minus theta k, and dividing by one minus theta k here, because this is just one. And then we can rearrange this to have this line here. Now, uh, I am going to let this right here be lambda one. And consequently, this would be lambda k minus 1. And the claim, uh, so the, the, the other expression for the third line would be the fourth line saying lambda 1 x1 plus da 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 plus lambda k one minus 1 times xk minus 1. Now, I am claiming lambda 1 plus dot 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 plus lambda k is 1. See how the proof goes. So we know lambda 1 is theta 1 over 1 minus theta k and so forth. So since the common denominator is the same, we can uh, sum 
uh, over all the numerators. However, the numerator, we know the sum of all thetas uh, is 1, and we can rearrange this to get 1 minus k as the equivalent of the numerator here, and this is just 1. So we know uh, all lambda 1 minus all lambda i. Okay, now we have this convex combination, which I am going to uh, denote that as x. And we know x is in C, y because of induction hypothesis, since all the coefficients are uh, non-negative and the sum of the coefficients lambda i's is 1. So this is a point in C. And we know x, k is also is in C. So we have this new convex combination saying x is in C and x, k is in C. And 1 minus theta, k plus theta, k is 1. Therefore, we have a convex combination of two points and we know C is a convex set. Therefore, this new convex combination is an element of C. And that concludes the proof. So what is the takeaway of this problem? Theta 1 times x1 uh, plus uh, dot 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 plus theta k xk is called convex combination. Uh, that should be convex combination. And uh, convex combination of points of x1 and xk. Formally, when we write convex combination of any a set of points, we can write it in this format, which is the assumptions of the problem. And we saw that the con any convex combination of points in C is back in C. That means the convex hull which is the set of all convex combination of C is uh, uh, an element of C. And this is a useful fact and I am going to take advantage of uh, this later. So uh, this is the end of the proof. I hope you're enjoying this video and thank you for watching me. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to help me provide more videos.